Let's go and we will sing. Oh. boy today today is thursday 4th march 2021 and we are still using the daily fountain the daily devotional guide of the church of nigeria anglican communion today we're going ahead to read further about esther and bring out new things that can teach us how to have a great background so we are discussing great background today let me remind you that Lifeboy will always bring to you teachings, scriptures, and we pray together so that we are assured that we are afloat in the world, sailing with the King of Kings, that we recognize where dangers could be, and that we are anchored to the word of the Lord and to Jesus Christ. Now, our text today is the book of Esther, we're reading chapter 2 now, and we'll be reading from verse 1 to verse 14 of the book of Esther, chapter 2. So I read, after the, these things, which the, when the wrath of the king Hyserius was appeased, he remembered Vashti and what she had done and what was decreed against her. Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, Let there be fair young virgins sought for the king. And let the king appoint officers in all the province of his kingdom, that they may gather together all the fair young virgins unto Shushan the palace, to the house of the women, unto the custody of Hig, the king's chamberlain, keeper of the women, and let their things for purification be given to them. And let the maiden which pleased the king be queen instead of Vashti. And the thing pleased the king, and he did so. Now in Shuzan, the palace, there was a certain Jew whose name was Mordecai, the son of Jair, the son of Shimei, the son of Kish, a Benjamite, who had been carried away from Jerusalem with the captivity, which had been carried away with Jeconiah, king of Judah whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away. And he brought up Hadassah, that is Esther, his uncle's daughter, for she had neither father nor mother, and the maid was fair and beautiful, whom Mordecai, when her father and mother were dead, took for his own daughter. So it came to pass, when the king's commandment and his decree was heard, and when many maidens were gathered together unto Shuzan, the palace to the custody of Higai, the that Esther was brought also into the king's house to the custody of Higai, keeper of the women. And the maiden pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him. And he speedily gave her things for purification with such things as belonged to her and seven maidens which were meet to be given her out of the king's house, and he preferred her and her maids unto the best place of the house of the women. Esther had not showed her people nor her kindred, for Mordecai had charged her that she should not show it. And Mordecai walked every day before the court of the women's house to know how Esther did and what should become of her. Now, when every maidstone was come, to go into King Hahasirius, after that she had been twelve months, according to the manner of women, for so were the days of their purification accomplished to wit, six months with oil of myrrh, and six months with sweet odors, and with other things for the purifying of the women. Then thus came every maiden unto the king, 
whatsoever she desired was given her to go with her out of the house of the women unto the king's house. In the evening she went, and on the morrow she returned into the second house of the women, to the custody of Shazgaz, the king's chamberlain, which kept the concubines. She came unto the king no more, except the king delighted in her, and that she were called by name. How would the final choice now be called, unless she placed the king in an extraordinary way? And unless she came from a great background, let me tell you straight away so that we don't waste time. The only great background is that background that is anchored in God himself, the king of kings. If you trace the origin, the roots of Esther, of Hadassah, you will discover that she came from, from the tribe of Benjamin, of the root of Israel. So, there could be all those other people, fair maidens of Babylon, fair maidens of other lands. But this one had the greatest background, rooted and grounded in the rock of ages. There is no background that is greater than that. So naturally, there was no way amongst all the fair women that with her own exceptional background that she would not be the beloved one. There is no way that divine favor would not follow her. Can you imagine that Vashti lost her position not only because of her poor background, but because she did not even develop herself. She did not change that background. Can you imagine that even people in the courts of the king did not like her? They were the same people that reminded the king that Vashti needed to be, to be changed, you know? And can you also imagine that for Esther, because of her great background, not only did Hegai, the keeper of the chamberlains, was always in favor of her, giving her extraordinary things. Her own uncle too, Mordecai, never left her alone, always doting on her. I pray that the Lord will let you maintain a great background if you have one. And if you do not yet have that great background of being rooted and grounded in the rock of ages, an opportunity beckons to you today to have a, a great background as well. Say this prayer after me quickly. God, I recognize now that I do not yet have a great background. I desire to have a great background. Forgive me. Rewrite my story. Let me be part of those that will have a great background. Call me into your kingdom and make my life new. In Jesus' name I pray. And I pray for you that even as you have said that prayer, that the Lord will grant that unto you. You will come into that kingdom where your background can be great and you will never leave that kingdom in Jesus' name. And I want to pray for you if you have been part of that kingdom already. Say this prayer after me. Oh Lord my God. Give me the grace that as I resolve to have a great background, dear Lord, please help me that I will remain with you in that kingdom, that I will never miss it, that I will never do that which is not right in your sight, and that I will always remember that I am a Christian and the name of Jesus that is supposed to open doors for me, the name of Jesus that is the strong tower will continue to be my background and that I will never miss it in Jesus' name. I pray you will never miss that great background in Jesus' name. God bless you today. Go out today and remember the child of whom you are. God bless you. Hey When it doesn't feel like it Say Your goodness